The requests wouldn't stop pouring in, so here we go. Wisconsin, Michigan. Wisconsin's up 15, trying to bring the ball up. Michigan, full court press, attacking the ball, attacking the ball. Turnover. How about that? Still Wisconsin's ball, though. This one is brought to you by Canadips. Head to CanadipsCBD.com. Use code BREAKDOWN for 50% off. This is where it all starts because Wisconsin, before putting this ball back in play, Calls timeout. There's 15 seconds left. Juwan Howard's like, dude, you're really going to prolong this game and rub it in that you're winning? Wisconsin coach, here's his explanation for why he did it. I called the timeout to, to reset the 10-second call because uh, we only had four seconds to get the ball over half court. And I didn't want to put my backups. I had all my bench guys in the game. I didn't want to put them in that position of scrambling with only four seconds. So I took a timeout and it got us a new 10 seconds um, and helped them you know, get organized to get the ball in. And uh, he did not like that when he came through the, the handshake line. He did not like it. I didn't like the timeout being called, and I'll be totally honest with you. Okay. I mean, you know, to break it down, he's like, it is kind of silly. Why would you have to call a timeout? Like, what's if your backups get, you know, some press for four seconds, who cares? But then you can say, well, practice like you play, and maybe they're going to be in this situation when it matters, and they need to practice. Let's call a timeout and regroup, blah, 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 blah. But also, if Jawan Howard doesn't want them trying at the end of the game and he wants them to just run out the clock, then why is he putting so much pressure on the defense? Why isn't he telling his team, hey, there's 15 seconds left, this game's over, just end it? And here, someone actually asked him that question. If you wanted the game to get done, why keep the press on against Wisconsin's backups at that point? Oh, we was, it wasn't the press. It was just five pressure defense, man to man. Now you got to color me confused because I'm a dummy. I know a little bit of basketball. I go to the book. I figure something out. I'm like, wait, doesn't press mean pressure? And yeah, it's short for pressure. So it wasn't press. It was just five pressure defense. It wasn't pressure. It was just pressure. So I don't know if he thinks we're dumb or he's dumb, but that doesn't make sense. And then he fouls and he says, good. We'll foul. If you're going to do that, we'll just foul you. We'll play for keeps, too. Put my mask on. I'm a badass. So then the game ends. We get to the handshake line. There's some hot mics here. I'll use those because you can kind of hear what's going on. And uh, he doesn't want to shake his hand. He's mad. Here you go. Oh, okay, so, you know, I'll remember that. Don't touch me, don't touch me. And then just gets this guy right in the head with a really odd hit. Is it a slap? Is it a grab? I've never seen someone kind of go the open hand, but then a little squeeze at the end. The thumb gets him up top. It's a really odd, you know, throwing hands is the best way because, I mean, look at that. Palm in his head like a basketball. Big-ass hands. And then kind of like in slow-mo, a gentle caress down the side with the thumb lingering on the cheek. We've all done that. Just a gentle caress. Uh, I think you're beautiful. I love you. I'm here for you. I, he's got mad at that guy. And then I like this a lot. It's really hard to see. There's a bald head here. Uh, right there. You see this guy's bald head here? He. I'll show you earlier. Um, right there, that bald head. He just popped up. He's going to duck under. Right there, and he's going to pop up in between this player's arms, like right in his personal space. His head is about to pop up like a turtle right in between this guy's arms. See? <laughs> you see this guy's face? <laughs> okay, I'll do it again. It's up. All right. So see this guy? He's yelling, he's yelling, he's yelling. All of a sudden, turtle pops up in between his arms, and he's like, what the hell? Gets scared. Obviously gets spooked and just rips that dude to the ground. Because <laughs> hey man, you can't enter my personal space so hot like that. Scared the hell out of me. Then we got coaches on the ground. Everyone's going a little bit crazy. Michigan players are holding their coach back. That's always a good look. Wisconsin coach kind of sending his players back. That's always a, the better look. This guy, bye 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 bye. Oh, and one more thing, you can suck it. <laughs> I hadn't seen. <laughs> I ain't seen someone not ironically do that since fifth grade. I mean, bam, bam, got him. Yup, yup. Hey, we're going to see it. No, we're going to see it. Hey, we're singing varsity. We're singing varsity. 
And then Davison just wants to sing real bad while the Wisconsin crowd starts chanting anarchy and suddenly, like, I'm on no one's side now. Uh, it kind of deterred me both ways. And Wisconsin coach, he's looking, he's looking, he's looking. He gets eye contact with Howard, the other coach. He's nodding at him, saying hi. Howard's pointing at him. And he's going to poke his head out and be like, yep. I'm here. I'm here. I don't know if that's like, let's we can still fight. I'm good. Let's keep fighting. Or maybe Jordan Howard's like, hey, I, I apologize, man. I'd love to chat with you after the game uh, when you get a moment. And he's like, I'm here. I'm here. Probably the former. We're singing varsity, guys. Come on. Come on. Going streaking through the quad into the gymnasium. So Howard's got to leave. He gets suspended for the rest of the season, I believe. Here's his comments after the game, which are also fun. Well, as far as touching, I mean, obviously there's obvious touching with the handshake line. There, it must have been more than that. Oh, yeah, it was more than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Touching, touching me unnecessarily with it wasn't cause for that when we were talking. All right, so they weren't talking. He was just saying, "I'll remember that shit." That's all. And then the guy tried to stop and talk with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. touching, touching. And I like this little hand motion he puts on his chest here. He was like, yeah, it was more than that. It was more than that. And then like that. <laughs> a little through the chest, which didn't happen. Touching me unnecessarily wasn't cause for that when we were talking. And at that, at that point, you know, I thought that was you know, time to protect myself. And then he had to protect himself naturally. So let's go slow-mo with it. That's what, here's what he says. As if, oh, yeah, it was more than that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And at that, at that point, you know, I thought that was... Know, time to protect myself. It was more than touching. It really wasn't, though, so let's go slow. Now, Howard does open up his hand last second. Like, fine, see? I will shake your hand. And it looks like Wisconsin's coach going for the classic double-handed handshake where you go, you know, the shake hands and the little elbow pat because we're the head coaches and we should do something a little extra special. Who knows? Or he's just trying to stop and talk to him. And this is the touching that happens here. Just that little elbow, not even a grab or a push, just like kind of like an elbow, like embrace. And after that, Howard says it was a little too far, so he had to protect himself. So he goes schoolyard bully mode, grabs the shirt, twists it, and now this is a classic shot of like a, a senior picking on a freshman in the locker. By the lockers. Look, he's got his shirt all twisted up. He's grabbing him. Wisconsin coach standing his ground, but he's petrified about it. And that's what happened. That's a breakdown of everything. Howard comes off looking bad, I think, because everything he said was kind of a lie and didn't make sense. And uh, he said pressure and pressure and all that stuff. It's brought to you by Canna Dips. Their pouch is made with all natural ingredients. No more messy, addictive alternatives. Evolve your dip with the Cali Chaw. Follow the link below. Use code BREAKDOWN to get 50% off the swag pack. 